Yo. Ha ha. Bill Nicholson. YouTube, it's your boy Bill Nipperson coming back with another quick sneaker review. At least I'm going to give you some tips today on what I do in order to maintain my Jordan 11s. I have right here the 2019 breads that are basically releasing December 14th. Again, I only got these because I got the Jordan, actually the sneakers shock drop that happened not too long ago, probably a week ago. Um, and if you're noticing on the sneakers app, the Jordan 11 bread is on the top. So that's a clear indication that another shock drop may happen either today or tomorrow i'm not sure it could be next week but i'm telling you right now i i, I believe that it's going to be either today while i'm recording this and this is thursday um it is pre precisely i think 3 318 so i i would not be surprised if there's a shock drop today um even tomorrow and i say this because i can see a shock drop happening since that this got moved to the top Usually, whatever's going to be coming out recently, if you notice, that sneakers moves it up to the top. So those fastisms, those Jordan mids that's about to release Friday, 10 o'clock, those need to be moved to the top. But before that happens, something has to happen with this because it moved to the top. I'm not sure if people catch on what I'm saying, but if you have the sneakers app, the Nike sneakers app, anything revealed at the top, more than likely it's going to be the recent release. So, hint, hint, this is at the top. It's probably going to be some type of sneakers drop somewhere, some way, somehow. Later on in this video, I'm going to reveal the tool that most people may or may not have in their household that will reveal basically the flaws that you probably will be seeing on these Jordan 11s of this year, the one from last year. The only difference is the quantity and the number of sneakers produced. You will be able to see some glue stains that you can't see with the naked eye. And I'm going to show you the item that I use in order to do that. Also... <laughs> You notice that I have some water right here along with the lotion and the towel. Pause because I know what you guys are thinking. But these three items is what I use in order to maintain my Jordan 11s. And I'm going to show you everything. Actually, I'm going to do something live. This is the finished project. Actually, the finished product of what I did when I cleaned the leather pad, the midsole, and even the icy outsole. Um, typically, I, on the outsole, I actually use like... Um, like the nail polish remover, but I try not to be careful. Actually, I try to be careful that I'm not hitting the midsole. Uh, that, I just use the lotion direct on the leather pad itself. All you really need, quite honestly, is a towel. Uh, make sure it's a clean, dry towel. Uh, what you do is you dip it in water, and you just basically do that whole Mr. Miyagi thing, wax on, wax off. But in circular motions, you just want to keep going around the leather pad um, and then you're going to take another dry spot of the towel, do the same thing, apply some small quantity, a small like drop of lotion on another area where it's dry on the towel. Do the same thing what you did with the water, circular motion around the leather pad. Then take another part of the towel that's dry, do it again. It's kind of like a waxing wax off type thing. Just think of your car or just think of you going in the shower, coming out the shower without knowing any lotion. You're kind of looking like what, Frosty the Snowman because you're white and ashy all over until you apply lotion. That's the same concept that you do with these Jordan 11s. And the best thing about lotion is that it's not going to bleed any paint <laughs> that's on the midsole. It's not going to rub off anything. It's not going to make your shoe look crazy, especially when you have that white midsole with the Jordan 11 breads as well as the Concours. So let me do this real quick. Let me see how long it takes. What are we, like three minutes into this video? What I'm going to do is basically show you, give you a demonstration, a live demonstration of what I just described to you and how to maintain these shoes. This is what I do. It's very easy. I take the water. See, I got water right there. Circular motion all around the leather pad. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to show, the reason why I, I brought three Jordan 11s, it's going to take the dry portion now. The reason why I did the, the three, three of them, uh, it's because I wanted to show the, the flaws. Now, keep in mind that the Jordan 11, not the Concords, 
what am I holding? The, the prom nights. Or the, the, the cap and gowns, whatever you want to call them. When they released, they only had a certain quantity. And I think this dropped at like $250, if I'm not mistaken. So that was kind of, that's kind of, it's kind of a lot of bread. But they only made a certain amount of pairs. Whereas the Concord, they mass produced. And it was like a million, 1.5 or something close to that million uh, last year. And then this year with the breads, they're doing 2 million and 2.5. And you can see right now, I'm done drying. What I'm going to do, put this down, put a small bit of lotion. It really doesn't matter. I kind of use cocoa butter because it's nice and smooth. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's just like my skin. I got to treat it like my skin. That's what I'm doing right there. So I'm going to pick this up by the shoe tree inside. Shoe tree inside. Hold it up and go around the leather pad. Same way I did with the lotion. Sorry, with the water. And go all the way around. Now it's going to look cloudy. So you got to be quick. And if you don't have enough to go all the way around, a little bit more put it on there but basically what I was trying to get at is when Jordan does a mass production especially with certain shoes you're, you're gonna have flaws I'm sorry you're not gonna be able to see it through the naked eye but again this tool that I'm gonna use that I'm gonna show you how easy it is to identify the glue stains um, and I'm gonna tell you ahead of time that I only wore these Jordan 11's these cap and gowns only a handful of times only a handful of times the same thing with the now I'm using a dry portion of this towel to do the circular motion to shine this out. But anyway, I only use this a certain amount of times in terms of the shoe usage. And I can tell you right now, you're going to see these glue stains like it's, like it's going to be phenomenal. It's going to come out. You're going to be like, wow, I didn't see that. Um, I didn't think about it until actually I was watching, again, Forensic Files. And then I realized, you know what? They use glue stains. Glue is a chemical and it can be revealed, again, not by the naked eye, depending on what type of glue they use when they manufacture these shoes, but best believe it can be revealed. So I'm almost done cleaning this off. Um, this is actually pretty fast. So there you go, right? So that's the finished portion. And what I do, you can see right here, I'm holding this by the, sh the shoe tree inside the shoe. But going around, you can see that, man, that thing holds its gloss and it's looking flawless. And keep in mind, like, these are the cap and gown, so the, I think the leather padding on this was a little bit thicker than it was on the Concourse that released, and it's a little bit more sturdier. So I have no problem pressing down on this and having to worry about wrinkles or whatever crease because, again, this was crafted really good. Even even the, the freaking Jordan logo is like a metallic Jordan logo. There is no leather or there is no, like, um, stitching. This is literally metal. There is stitching of the 23, whereas most of them, it's mostly printed, but... I'm going to show you the craftsmanship difference with this item. Under the light, different camera, actually kind of a super zoom, so you can see what I'm talking about. So that's what I do to maintain the, um, the my Jordan 11s. Let me try to get all this buffing out. My Jordan 11s, that's why they look like they're kind of brand new. Without further ado, it is time to reveal what I do in order to identify if these shoes are mass produced, if there's any glue stains that you can't see by the naked eye, Trust me, this device, you definitely can see it. Without further ado, let's get into it, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, YouTube, so we are here, right? And we have the three shoes that I have displayed. Again, the Concords, 2019 breads, and the cap and gowns. Now, so what is this mysterious device that I was going to mention earlier in the video? And here it is, the lovely... Black light. Now, this is not one of those rinky dink black lights that you may see most people use. This actually has a lot, and you can see right there a lot of lens that really basically it's really high powered. Um, this black light is going to reveal where the glue stains are on the midsole because most times when people don't realize these, this device can, can basically see a lot. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the lights in my room. I'm actually going to bring a surprise shoe. Uh, that most people didn't realize also that has glue stains um, and you're going to see a lot. So let's shut off the lights. All right. Lights are off. So the lights are off. The first one I want to get started with here's the black light. The first one I want to get started with is the, um, the cap and gown. So the cap and gowns, this is the cap and gowns right here. The black light is on there and you can see that there are very, very little 
<laughs> there you go. Very little glue stains on there. I'm bringing this back right here. Push this right here. But you can see that there actually a little bit of glue stains right there. Now, again, I only wore these shoes, but so many times, but typically where the midsole reaches kind of the upper, actually the, the leather pad reaches the midsole, in between you're going to notice, <laughs> yeah, there are glue stains. Now, you may see some fabric material, but that's normal because it's just the, the normal fabric, the excessive fabric from clothes and stuff like that on there. But this is the black light. So now, let's jump into the coveted Concords, right? So the Concords... You can see immediately right there, if you're looking. Uh, let me just hold this back up. Right there. Glue stain. Oh, man. So there's a glue stain right there. There's another glue stain right here. But again, you're not seeing this on the naked eye uh, because the midsole is, what, white, correct? So looking around, you can see that these were mass-produced, and you can see glue stain right there. <laughs> but you would think, oh, there's a glue stain right there too as well. You would think, ah, well, that's not that bad, bro. That's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. But don't let this scare you <laughs> because here comes the Jordan 11 2019 breads. Now, check this out. I've never wore this. This is dead stock. The only time I wore this was trying it on on my carpet. This has never seen the outside of uh, my house. But immediately, check this out. <laughs> you see this, right? There's the glue stain right there. Um, there is bleeding. Again, you, you, you're not seeing this with the naked eye because, hey, I don't know what type of glue they use. Probably something white. But, yes, there definitely is. With the black light, it's going to reveal all types of leakage. Um, and this, again, is the bread of 2019, Jordan 11 bread. But, well, now, does that change my way, the way I think of? I'm trying to hold this at a different angle so you can see it in the light. Um, but does that scare me from the fact that I have a Jordan 11 bread? Absolutely not, because it, you're not seeing this. Now, here's a, here's a surprise sneaker. A lot of people probably didn't even realize. Everybody remember the Jordan 14 Ferraris, the yellow ones that came out this year? <laughs> remember that? Check this out. <laughs> There's a lot of glue stains on there, right? So you can see that the black light... And I encourage anybody, if you just get a, a normal black light, you're going to be able to see a lot of these stains on there. I just think it's cool watching forensic files and then realizing, you know what, the black light will reveal. You can see it right there, glue stains like crazy. But once I turn back on the light, you're not going to notice it. I turn like my normal light on without the black light. You're not going to notice it. But again, going back to these breads, and here's the second pair. This is the second pair that I have right here. I'm not going to check, make this video too long. But this is the second pair of breads, and you can see immediately. I mean, immediately you can see you can see those um, you can see those stains right there, um, those glue stains. What I mean, um, you can see it bleeding into the uh, the lower, I guess the not the translucent, but the rubber portion of the outsole of the shoe. And it, here's where the carbon fiber is. You can see the the glue stains there. So it's a little trick that most people don't know about. But yeah, when you take the black light. Um, you can definitely see where, where the mass production took place. You can see the glue stains on it. There's one right there. You can see it right, right there. So that to me is amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. So your boy Mel never said, I hope this was 11. 11. I hope this was 11. I hope this was a lesson, a good lesson for you guys to learn. Um, I found it to be very unique in terms of the black light and how it hits the shoe. Yeah, it didn't come, the idea didn't come across me until I saw, I think it was Jumperman Chris's video when he went to SneakerCon and they were trying to reveal how to reveal what the fakes are for those Jordan, sorry, those, yeah, actually those Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott's and it had a little smiley face, I believe it was on the midsole somewhere um, and you saw that it, it kind of glued and that's how they knew, okay, well, these are the authentics versus the fakes. It was one way of them identifying it. But in terms of the glue stains, again, guys, if you want to see if, if your shoe is mass produced, Take, just get a normal black light, turn off the lights, and you would be surprised how much glue stains you will be able to see uh, on these shoes when the black light is turned on. So your boy, Milton Nipperson, I hope that's helpful for you and for the guys. Actually, if you entered on the giveaway for the wireless headsets, I will reveal this Sunday. But again, before I go, you guys stay blessed and keep an eye on that sneakers app. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. There is some type of sh shock drop that will happen with the Jordan 11s either today, tomorrow. It's got to be soon because, again, the, the next release is the Jordan mid-fastism. Face um, and I think that that will drop 
Um, but before that drops, definitely the Jordan 11 breads. Maybe at the same time, 10 o'clock tomorrow. Maybe tonight. Maybe 6 o'clock. Maybe 4 o'clock. I don't know. Keep it on lock. Your boy, Bill Nificent. Get your black light. If you got For those that have the Jordan 11 breads, check them out if you don't believe me in terms of the bleeding. And your boy is out.